Okay, I'm going to give you lessons on how to act like a genius. Let's start with the media. You're on TV, say, and uh, they ask you how you come to compose such great music. What do you tell them? Oh, uh, well, I'll tell them how I always carry around a notebook with me, so whenever I get an idea, I can just... No? No. Firstly, never give away trade secrets. Keep them guessing. But I gotta tell them something. All you do is make out how it's hell being a songwriter. Like you really suffer for your art. People love that kind of crap. On the other hand, you don't want to come across like you're feeling too sorry for yourself. So you uh, shrug philosophically and you say, no pain, no gain. That'll appeal to all the health freaks and masochists out there. <laughs> then you do a Greta Garbo note. Give them another shrug, nonchalant this time, and you say, don't ask me to explain. Let's try that. No pain, no gain. Don't ask me to explain. Go ahead, let's hear it. Uh, no pain, no gain, don't ask me to explain? And again. Oh, uh, <clears throat> no pain, no gain, don't ask me to explain. A bit more nonchalant this time. Uh, uh, <clears throat> no pain, no gain. Pause, shrug. Don't ask me to explain. And once more. <clears throat> no pain, no gain. Hey. Don't ask me to explain, man. You got it. Hey, kid, you got it. <laughs> You're going to be OK, but keep practicing. All right. OK. So suddenly you get a call from uh, Barbara Streisand, who wants you to write a song for her upcoming movie. What do you say? <laughs> what do I say? I say, wow, gee, thanks, Miss Streisand. I, I, I'd be really honored. I, I say, I, no. You never let people know you're in awe of them. You got to act like you expect them to feel privileged to even be talking to you. What you say is, hey, Barbara, I'd like to help you out, but I'm a little tied up right now. So why don't you have your people contact my people, and maybe we can sort something out for some time next year. Is that what I say? That's what you say. OK, so you said your piece. Now it's time to close the conversation. How do you do that? Well, I say uh, I have, thanks very much for calling, and I very much hope that we can know. As soon as you said your piece, you say, Nice talking to you, Barbara, but I'm due to see my shrink in a few minutes, so I gotta go. Let's do lunch sometime, then you hang up. Why should I tell her I'm seeing a shrink? Might she think I'm a bit, I don't know, a bit crazy? <laughs> so much the better. Creative people are supposed to be a bit crazy. Besides, all the top people see a shrink, so it's no big deal. The most important thing is always hang up first. Never give the other person a chance to hang up before you. No, why not? Makes them feel insecure. Gives you psychological control. Makes them feel like you're in charge. People respect a take charge kind of guy. Oh, but Mr. DeVille, it seems a bit rude. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Making it hard for me to sell you. You gotta be hard, you gotta be rude. If you expect to get some respect, you gotta throw the occasional tantrum. Cause if you don't, the people just won't respect you. They'll think you're some humdrum bum. You try to be a little obnoxious. Stop trying to be so polite and nice. It's gonna take much notice If you don't give it a bit of spice If you expect to get some respect You gotta be a little eccentric Cause if you don't, the people just won't consider you Anything but a hit If you wanna get on in this crazy old world You better listen to my advice Get some respect, you gotta kick a little 